Babe, what is it? Who did you quarrel with? It's not that stupid hairdresser. She told me to leave her salon. Okay, and what did you tell her that made her to say so? I met your brother's wife there. Then I told her to quit pretending that I know what she and her husband are capable of doing with Uncle Tio. Then the useless girl opened her mouth. Opened her mouth to talk back at me. She raised her voice at me. Then I had to give it back to her the way she wanted it. Mm. Wonderful. So it's not about the hairdresser after all? Both of them. But that salon is like the best salon in this town. That's why I usually style my hair and they do it re real good. I think I'll have to manage this one for a while. Wando? Sorry, eh? This has gone out of hand. I'm telling you. I mean, look at me. Innocently greeting my co-wife. Not knowing that she has been nursing animosity for me. Ebuna. Ebuna has succeeded in destroying the peace and love of this family. The love and the bond our late father built, suffered to build for years because of his selfish ambition. It's a pity. But Jane, honey, it was just the respect I had for you today. Just the respect I have for you. What I would have done to Jane, the next time she tries such nonsense, I would deal with her. No jokes. What is it? Take me to the family house. <laughs> Uncle, you cannot go there. We will sat the chef, the, the servants there. You can't stay there all alone. Huh? I, I, want to, I want to go and see my brother. Uncle, no. No. Let's go. Huh? It's okay. I said, take me to my brother. I want to go and see my brother. <laughs> no. Okay, okay. No. Okay. No. I'll take you there. I'll take you there. No. No. I hope you can hear me. That thing I told you, it has happened. That thing I told you has happened. It has happened exactly the same way I predicted it. Actually, you know I don't have money. This is the only thing I can afford for now. Please, let's just go and carry one. Are you sure we can make this? Mama! Who would you bet? Mama! Wait for me, wait for me. Hey, come now! I'm coming! I understand that uh, we brought her in a wheelbarrow. 
Yes, yes. I actually pushed on the wheelbarrow. My yes, brother. Doctor, uh, we we're not having money to get the taxi, so we use wheelbarrow. So, why do we are willing her to this place? What was she doing? Uh, nothing. Yes, my mama was sleeping now. She was, yes, she was, she was sleeping. She was sleeping. Yes. How come you didn't notice that she was dead already? No, 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 Nah. No, 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 you said what? Nah. No, 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 no. I was pushing her on the football. You were funny, she was still awake. <laughs> doctor, no, wake mama up. No, 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 Happening. Just lost our mother. Just now? Yes, Hi. Uh, is that so? Uncle, we don't even know what to do. Uncle, we don't know what to do because we don't even have money to deposit my mind in the mortuary. Happy when people have known about, 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 about her. Uncle, we don't even know what to do. Don't worry. So okay. I invite the kissman immediately and the other people that is involved. Eh? Stop crying, stop crying. Uncle, please help me fast. Why would my mother to die and leave us in this wicked world? <laughs> Papa died and left us while we are yet toddlers. And now Mama has joined him. <laughs> now what are we going to do? How do we survive? <laughs> Who is going to cook food for us? Who is going to take good care of us? <laughs> now I'm tired already. <laughs> Now let's just die and join my mom and papa because me, I don't know what else to do in this wicked world. No, Tio. Tio, don't say that. I know we don't have anyone. We don't have somebody to come out. We don't have anyone to cheer us up whenever we are angry. Why? Why must it be us? Now that our morning days are over, we have to move on with our lives. Just like Mama will always tell us, united we stand, divided we fall. We shouldn't let anything come in between us if we must survive in this life. Nothing should come in between us. Uh, do you? Mom. It's a wise idea. Uh, if I may suggest, is it not better for we to travel to the city to look for a better job than this our firewood business? It will not fetch us anything than feeding money. Is this is it what we are going to survive with? Now, hmm? going to the city is a nice idea. Mm -hmm. But who do we leave this house for? Uh -uh. 
Nah. What are you saying? Is it not to lock the door and we go to the city? Is there anybody that will take our father's house from us? It's our property now. Nah. Nothing will happen to it. Huh? Eche, going to the city is a nice option. But if both of us should go to the city, we leave this house in the hands of the villagers. Criminals will creep into this place and steal our things, hmm? including our farmland. So I suggest that one of us should go to the city. Why the others stay back home? Huh. I'm afraid, uh, if I may ask, who will travel then? Who will not stay back? Nam. I will stay back while you go to the city. Yes. You stay back? Yes, I will stay back and look after this house and our farmland. Hmm? <laughs> go and survive for us. <laughs> You, you know I cannot now. You know I can't stay with that. You remember what Mama said now. That we should stay together. Why are you not trying to? I, I can't. To Mama Actually, friend. both of us can't go to the city at the same time. Neither will both of us stay here. So better you go to the city while I stay back. No. Ha. I can't. I'm no, you need sure. to go. Survive for us. I'll be fine here. Based on our last discussion. Are you assuring me that the company pays well? Very well. By the time Echozna will return for Christmas this year, you will not recognize him again. No? He would have become a very big boy. Very no. big guy. <laughs> um, thank you very much. Um, nah. Mm -hmm. Please, eh, when you get there, what do you now? Nah. Remember what our mother always tells us? Hmm? The spirit of our late parents will guide you. You do well there. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Any name we God to do. She is naturally hmm? a So go and explore. Hmm? Now, I trust you. I miss you very much. I am going now, you should. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's my brother and I cannot leave him just like Go inside, dude. Eche, hey, see you. We are coming, we are coming. Hurry up now, the city is far from here. Please be careful. You understand? Okay. May the spirit of our late parents guide you, be with you. Hmm? Amen. Everything you're going to do in the city, you prosper. Amen. Hmm? I'll miss you, brother. Let's go, let's go. Ahana, take care of my brother. He's well, he's okay. Hi. Hey. Hey. He's, he's. Don't come here. <laughs> Ah, now go and get yourself a brother. <laughs> okay, go, 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 go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Stop crying now. Just go. Back go. Again. Mm -hmm. Oh. But, you know now, I can't stay there alone now. You can't come with us now. Now, we've, yeah. we've discussed this already. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go, go, go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Now. Hey! Okay, no, I see. Uh, where my shoe? Okay, where is one of those? No, I'll okay. miss you. I'll miss you. Let's take care of you. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Have yourself for me. Remember to call my mom. No, wait, wait, wait. Bye bye. You go now. I'm only brother now. Yeah, you know. When I come, I'll buy you jeep. Okay, now. Yeah, go to. Now, bye-bye. No! 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 Hey, Z. No! Come on, 
No! 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 <laughs> I've made it, guy. Look at me. No! No! <laughs> no. <laughs> this is me, still your brother. I have made it, guy. I have made it. I told you now that I will not support you. Look at me now. No! Flesh and blood, one man. Flesh and blood. No. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> no. Come, let's go inside that food for you. Come, oh, come, oh. Let's <laughs> there is food for you. You will never change. No! <laughs> no, come inside. <laughs> Man. Just like you say, now, mm? you can't believe this. God has really blessed me. Yes. Do you know that I became so exceptional in my company that everybody were jealous of me, even Han. Eh? <laughs> you don't you don't know. <laughs> you see? My boss lost me so much. Within these three months, I was employed in that company. Ha, they promoted me three times. Three good times. Now. Guess what? Yeah. I am now the senior colleague to Anna that introduced me to the company. Is you okay? Just now. <laughs> hey! God has done it. Good. <laughs> Unless I forget, mm. I have something for you. Okay. <laughs> this is 100,000 <000. laughs> Now, choose this, eh? And set a block. Between the end of this year, there must be a blockers in this company. I am the one saying it. God has blessed me. <laughs> now, you mean you own this big money? I even have a lot of this in my account. Eh? <laughs> now, so you mean you own a bank account? Yes. Hey! The company opens an account for you once they employ you. Because they pay your salary directly to the account. Hey! Uh, but now let me ask. Okay. Uh, I hope you are you've not started stealing from your company. Uh, why would you say a thing like that? No, no I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Your brother is not a thief, or you don't trust me again. Uh -uh. It doesn't run in our blood now. We don't have any mark like that in this family. Yes. So nothing like that. No. Do you know how I managed to save money? I don't spend my salary. Uh -huh. Just now, my boss always dashes me money because whenever I make him laugh, he dashes me money every day. But you know how funny I use. No. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm so proud of you. Ah, so you know. I, I thank God that eh, the spirit of our late parents are with us. Indeed, they yeah. are with us. I'm so happy. Indeed. Now, yeah. I'm so proud of you. You know. Now, 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 now. I'm sorry. Now, hmm? now that you're ready to go back to the city, yeah. Mm -hmm. Always remember where you come from. Yeah, always remember that you left a brother in the village to go to the city and hustle. Now, always remember that we have to build a block house in this village. You know how always did that. May the spirit of our late parents guide you. You say, protect you. You say, and be with you in the city. You say, mm? now mm -hmm. you will prosper. You say, more than your widest imagination. You say, mm? now. Mm? <laughs> I'll miss you so now, Misha. <laughs> you know, I will always do my best. You know, your brother is an Ursula. Yes. This year will definitely be better than last year. Amen. Trust me. Amen. I'm an Ursula. <laughs> now. Hey. now, I'll miss you. I'll miss you now. I'll miss you now. Let, yeah. let me hurry up. You know, have I missed my boss? <laughs> now. Now. <laughs> I'll miss you. I'll miss you. Now. <laughs> Hey. I will miss you. Now, now, now. <laughs> Take care. I'll miss you. I'll miss you too. I'll miss you. I'll miss you. Now! <laughs> Let me hurry up before I will miss my boss. <laughs> now! 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 Um, now. Now. Since yesterday you arrived, you've not said a word to me. What is the problem? Um, now, have you been sacked? Shh, the word has ears. Now, you should confide in me. I'm your brother. Because the look on your face is scaring me. What is the problem? I'm sorry I did not tell you about it for now. Ifunanya? Yes. 
So who is Zifunanya? Oh, Zifunanya. She, she, she works in our company. I like her and she likes me too until until she she she's she pregnant do. for you. Yes, exactly. That's the problem. That's the problem. I told her to to abort the child, but she refused. She said she wants to keep it. Not that we are we are not yet done with the building. Yeah? No. No, abortion is not the right option here. You are old enough to marry. Now you're old enough to be a father. There's no point in telling her to abort the pregnancy. Hmm? Since you both like each other, work in the same company, you are earning a salary, she's earning a salary, so there's no need. How do you hmm? mean? Now, you just have to marry her. Does it mean I will marry before you? No, oh, now you check it now. Now, there is no law that states that the first son must marry before the second son. Hmm? Only Diego, one Naya, Naburo de Baraburu. The only difference here is that I came out before you. When the eyes of God, we are equal. Hmm? So cheer up. Not again, not again. Nah, cheer up. No, not again. Nah. Check it now. Eh? Nah. There's no. No. Nah. I've been watching you closely these days. You don't look happy. There's a lot of rumor outside. People have been telling me things that I don't know about you. Tell me. Is there anything you are hiding from me? Ever since I got married, my son is one year old now. You're not yet married. Whenever I talk about marriage, you always sweep it under the carpet. Now, I am your only brother. The only brother you have in this whole wide world. Trust me, we can share it together. Is there anything you are not telling me? Please tell me. Now, I am not a complete man like you. I have never had an erection in my entire life. And the doctor said it will only take a miracle for me to have an erection. I don't understand. Were you born like that? No, something happened when you were a toddler. You were barely 14 months old. <laughs> and I was five years old. According to Mama, you were crawling into a pot of soup on fire. I saw you and rushed to save you. In my haste, I couldn't see the axe by the corner. It fell on my manhood. I was happy that I was able to save you from falling inside the fire. But the bleeding continued. I was rushed to the hospital. The doctor performed some surgery on me. The bleeding stopped, stopped. But some organs were damaged. The doctor said I cannot have an erection. I became less of a man. You mean you went through all this because of me? You mean... 
all this happened just because of the love you had for me. Now, I'm not regretting any bit of it. I'm not regretting anything. Yes, at least something can be done. You can... You can get married and stay allowed to have mates outside. The most important thing is that you will have a son, somebody to call your own. It, both of you can still understand and move on with your life. Please. Now, eh? you, you have a very nice idea. But, but the highest form of deception is self-deception. I cannot frustrate someone's daughter in the name of marriage. I cannot raise bastards in my home in the name of marriage. Everybody must not marry. Mm. Now, at the end. That is the kind of what the. <laughs> now. <laughs> But who would have believed that a mansion like this can stand in this company? From three bedroom bungalow to a big mansion like this. Who would have believed that I would have become the owner of a company I didn't know when it started? Who would have believed that I will become the owner of a company? I worked as a factory boy. God is great. But remember, mother told us that where there is love, there is progress. Where there is unity, there is prosperity. So I'm not surprised at all. I'm not surprised. But come, my brother. I wish my children, my two sons, can emulate our lifestyle. I wish so. Come, let's go and sit. Hi. Do you know who is rotate from family to family? In every 60 years, I remember my father Okoro once told me, you were so little then, okay. that when I grew up, that do you know who office will come to our family? Really? Yes. I never believed it until yesterday when he called me. You know, the death of the present Ono yes. has created a vacuum. So it is our family that will now produce. Oh no, and it will remain in our family for 60 years. Wow. Well, that is good. You are the first son, so it is your right. I know it is my right, but... But what now? But what? I want you to take up that office. Yes, you already have a son who will take over from you in the event of your demise. So, I want you to take it up so that you know who office will remain in our family for a period of 60 years. But my brother, you already sacrificed your manhood for me. And now you want to sacrifice your, your birthright too? When am I ever going to be able to pay you for all these good things you've done for me in my lifetime? Ah. Two of us are one. It's the blood flowing in me. It's the blood flowing in you. True. At the end, blood is thicker than water. <laughs> no. no.
No. I understand. Living in my house with my wife and children is trying to destroy the love and bond that we share. Our people say that brotherhood will last longer if brothers visit each other rather than stay together. This is your house. You have a chef, a gatekeeper, and a servant. And all this cost is embedded in the company's payroll. I'm doing this to save our love and unity. <clears throat> no. No. In as much as I appreciate this house and other things you've been doing for me, I am bothered. The love we share was not transferred to your children, mm. especially your first son, Ebuna. Mm. I'm afraid, should anything happen to you, God forbid, your first son, Ebuna, will throw me out of this house. No. Listen, nothing's going to happen to me. And I've been trying my best to let my children know that I owe you everything I represent today in life. My wife should be the wife you never had. And my children should be the children you never had because of me. And because of the love to save me from death and her. I so wish your children will follow in your footsteps, especially your first son, Ebuna. I so wish you. Um, no, he will. He has no choice. Your children have destroyed everything we work together. Your first son has driven me out of the house you built for me. <laughs> exactly the same way I predicted it. Uh, I feel empty. I now feel a vacuum. A vacuum without a wife. A vacuum without children. <laughs> I don't feel like a vacuum without children. A vacuum you created in my life. They did not feel it. I don't feel like living anymore. Life is meaningless to me. I want to join you. I want to join you and end all this. I want to join you. <laughs> Sure the step we took is not aiding to our downfall. What do you mean by that? <sighs> now that your uncle too is living with your younger brother, and you know his aim has always been to take away your birthright and hand it over to your brother, don't you think them living together is bringing them closer and will make them achieve their purpose faster? No matter how they try. 
they will never take what belongs to me. I shall replace my father as the less or no of this kingdom, less to the king. Then I shall see who dares stand on my way. Today, I hand you over this mantle of leadership as the new Onowo of our kingdom. Hereby, Igwe, please don't do that. He is the rightful owner of the throne. Igwe, Igwe, do not mind this evil man. I am the first son of my father, and I am the rightful owner of this position. I deserve this position, Igwe. Na, na mo. Igwe, I am the only surviving son of the family. I can tell you authoritatively, he is the person. Today is the person Igwe, not him. What, what is going on here? But everyone knows that he is the first son of our late Ono. Believe me, I'm telling you the truth. The whole truth. Ndode is the person. Don't okay. mind him. Okay, as the only surviving son of that family, what do you want me to do now? He will give it to Ndode. Don't mind this person. No, that, that's not true. Like... Let the problem of your family never ignite our kingdom. Can you still have a good day? Good day. Igwe. No. 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 Igwe, this, this, this cannot be. Igwe. I will not kill myself for your family. I'm This is not right. Igwe, it's not right. No. What is it? Same dream? Same message. This time it was precise. Huh? What is this? My uncle deceived the Igwe from giving me the Onowu staff of office into giving it to my brother. No! No! Oh God. Baby, you see what I've been telling you? See what I've been telling you? Now that these people are together, they will now have every opportunity to plan together in order to achieve their evil desires. Where, 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 where will my uncle bent on wanting to sell my birthright? Eh? What have I done to him? What? Some people are naturally wicked. Your uncle is a sadist. And the sadist will always hate you for no just cause. Look at them, planning on how to disinherit you. But I will not fold my hands. We are not going to fold our hands and allow it to work. No! What it's not going to happen. What other step do I take now? What other step do I take? Because if I allow them, they are going to carry out their intentions. What other step do I take? Yeah, you have a sleepless night over nothing. These are your imaginations. I bring you to reality. I fight in the air, watching the world and getting mad. Is there any problem? Indeed, there is a problem. There is a problem. Okay. What is it? The problem is you and Uncle Theo. I hope you're not out of your mind. Indeed, you're the one out of your mind here. How can you be a party to evil? How can you not shun evil but walk hand in hand with evil? What evil are you talking about? The one you're staying with here. The one both of you are strategizing on. But let me tell you, I do not know only your practical steps. But I also know too much to be ridiculed with by men mortal like you and Uncle Theo. 
Anyway, now, what has come over you? No, for real. Have, have you lost it? Yes. You are the evil. You have suddenly forgotten the promises we made to Father on his sickbed. Instead, you unleashed wickedness on our uncle. His only brother. His only brother he loved so much. Ibuna, you are the evil that has aroused in this once peace and loving family. And that evil needs to be tamed. Mind the words you speak to me. And you dare, you dare not tell me how to talk in my own house. This is not father's wealth, you know. I suffer to make this money and build this house. Not some, not some muggle that goes around looking for father's property to jump on. I'm out for both of you. <laughs> Get out. And I'll be back. Get out. Just wait for me. I said, get out! Magau! Imagine! What was that all about? I heard voices. See the, see the, see the, see the Coming to accuse, accuse me that my, my, my uncle and I are, pl are planning evil against him. What kind of nonsense uh, accusation is that? Hey honey, you need to calm down. You guys don't need to raise voices. I mean, look at this. It's getting out of hand already. You need to curtail this before it gets out of hand. The solution is I need to curtail the, the, the way we are. Is, is it my fault? You're meant to tell Ebuna that, not, not me. Okay. Listen to me. You guys need to calm down. It's barely a month you buried your father. Shouting won't solve anything. You just need to sit and talk about this, please. It's not sit and talk about it. It's meant to be able now. Because I do not have a problem. Okay, fine. But you know what? Calm down. Just have a seat. You're all worked up. See what you do here. Yeah? I'll talk to Boy here. Okay, okay. Alright, uh, tell him then. I'll call you back. Alright. Okay, bye. Good afternoon, Uncle. I had voices. <laughs> Is it not Ebu now? Ebu now came here to insult himself. What has he come to do? Uncle, please just forget about Ebuna, okay? Just ignore him. I'm even tired of talking about him. Maybe the truth is haunting him. What truth? I'm a man of honor. Give to my words. My word is my bond. Which one is word and bond? I'm an old man. The grey hair is starting all over my head. It's not for fancy. If I cannot stimulate your brain to think and articulate fast with my word, then this grey hair is nothing but a number. Uncle, I still don't understand what you're talking about. Man is not what he eats, but what he knows and what he knows not. It's not me that will run mad this hot afternoon, eh? Come inside and eat first. Oh. told him his secrets. Obviously, he should react. He was pretending not to know what I was talking about. 
but I knew that he knows what I was talking about. Do you expect him to accept his evil deed? Do you? No, I don't. And that was why I was telling him to his face. But he keeps denying it. My darling, you've done a great deal today. I'm so proud of you. At least now they know that you know what they are planning to do. I'm thinking of the next line of action to take. And I think I need to get Igwe involved in this. No, not so fast. Baby, you have to hold on. At least you have enough evidence on them so that if you're pulling them down, you pull them down completely. See, babe, less than two more months now, I am going to become the next Uno of this kingdom. And with my position, nobody will tell them what will become of me. Two months' time is a long time. Baby, they are after you. They are after that position. If you don't fight now, who told you you're going to be alive till the next two months? It's best you fight now. Yes. Hmm. I, why are you fighting someone who's not fighting back? Why are you having sleepless nights over nothing? These are your... Your Highness, as the first son of late Ono Uwe I've come to ask, when am I taking over from where my father stopped at? The tradition has given the family the right to uphold the Onowu's mantle for the next two generations. The chief priest is aware of your late father's death. You know, in this kingdom we have stipulated order i don't even know why the chief priest has not come up to do the needful your majesty i do not understand yes when ono or any member of this cabinet dies as long as the death of that person is officially reported to this palace the chief priest will now come up and uh, fix a date for the rituals. It is the same chief priest that will now know if that family is capable of handling the post again or not. If that family is not capable to handle the post, the chief priest will appoint a new family. That's it. Your Majesty, I know that the, the office of Ono stays with a particular family for 60 years before it's taken away from them. And my father was the first to take it up in my family before his death. And I also know that after the death of the working Ono, the next person takes over after three months. And your majesty, it's been over three months I buried my father. And nothing has been said or heard about this whole thing. You know all these things, but you fail to know that even I as Igwe, who is aware that it is your right, and it's now after three months as you said, I don't have the right to hand you over the scepter to become Uno. It is the right of one man, and that man is the chief priest. Yes, that's the tradition. Who is after my bad Hey, but tell me about you, mate. With my bad shall we cross me? I'll 
I would never let anybody to take away my life. What belongs to me? Oh, but anybody who lets with my bed ride. I don't know what games the Igwe is playing. His answers are not straight. Why are they withholding my bed right? Why are they stopping my destiny? No body bomb of a woman can stop me from getting my destiny. I'm like a viper Where I come from, I know whose office is an appointed office. If he dies, the ego appoints another capable hand from the elders to take over. It's been like that all over the places. But ours is different. Do you know whose office is sacred and monarchical? Just like the Igwe's office. For a period of years to a particular family, then goes to the next family after a period of years. No one is disputing that. <laughs> I know that already. Then why are they not being transparent with you? Knowing it's your birthright. I think they may be working with my uncle to take away my birthright and give it to my younger brother. That's exactly the same thing you've been seeing in your dream. Yes. But they can't wait. What exactly did he say? That the chief priest did this? The chief priest did that? They're not just making sense then you have to meet with the chief priest. Exactly what's on my mind. It's funny, my dear. It's so funny. I'm so tired. What brings you to this sacred place today? Wise one, my name is Ebuna, the first son of Onowu Eches no Koro. Wise one, I've come to inquire from the gods why the scepter of Ono has not been given to me to continue from where my father stopped as the tradition of this kingdom demands. Uja uja kuru ja uja mara buru ya uja uja kuru ja uja na buru ya uja uja kuru ja uja When the son of the dead Onowu comes to the palace to report the death of his father the gods of our land take notice and put everything in place But in the case of Onowu Echezona no one came to the palace to report. The gods are still waiting. And that is what is holding everything down. Where's one? I did exactly that. I went to the palace to, to, to report my father's death to the, to, to the Igwe. And I even returned the scepter to the palace. Because my father told me all that and I know all that too. Are you saying the gods are lying? No, I did not say that. I did not say that the gods are lying. Neither am I lying. Wise one, I went to the palace to drop the message of my father's death. And I actually dropped the scepter too. It was so when I did all that, he can attest to it. You better leave this place now before you incur the wrath of the gods. This one, I am sure of what I am saying. Now, leave. Leave! Who's 
Uja 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 Whoever the person is, I must fish him or her out today. How can the chief priest say that I did not come to inform the king about my late father's death? How? Who is he working for? Uncle Tio, if this is truly your handwork, then prepare for the worst. I am going back to the palace. The ego must bear me witness, for I did what I was supposed to do at the death of my father. Where is Digo presently? He should be in Izobi. Is he with someone? No, they just left. Okay, please tell him I want to see him. Welcome, sir. Please, sir, you can come with me to the garden so I can offer you something before the king joins you. Um, it's okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, Yeah, sir. thank you so much. Okay. Yeah. Have you seen what you've done to yourself? I, if Long live the king. What? No son is here. Tell him that I don't want to see anyone now. I am highly exhausted. Yes, your highness. Let me not die serving people. Let me go upstairs and rest. Why are you having sleepless nights? Over nothing, these are your imaginations. I bring you to reality. I fight in the air, punching the wall, I'm getting up. Where I decided to let the sleeping dog lie. No, that was wrong. It's not the right thing for you to have done. 
that house belongs to you. He has no right whatsoever to take away the house your brother built for you. Everybody knows the bond between you and your brother. And that bond is on the lips of everybody in this kingdom. Is this the way he's going to take over from his father as the owner of this kingdom? Exactly my thought. Igwe, I decided to let him be. He is now the new landlord. Lies. These are blunted lies, Theophilus. As far as I'm concerned, that house still belongs to you. I will make sure that you goes back to your house. I will use everything within my power to ensure that everything he has taken away from you is being restored. If he fails to take my orders or my instruction, hmm, I will ostracize him from this kingdom. And that right he's looking for will be taken away from him and be given to another person. What nonsense! And I'm even giving him a listening ears. What an insolence! 